Good morning, afternoon, everyone, wherever you are. My name is Oli Loma. I'm a marketing manager here at SunGuard AS, and today I'm speaking to you from London. I'll be your moderator today for our webinar entitled Co-location and Cloud, Happy Together. Now, the co-location and cloud debate has been running for some time, but what we want to show and discuss today is that both can happily coexist together, allowing you to achieve your business objectives while ensuring security, resiliency, and availability too. And in doing this, I'm joined today by two expert speakers from Sunkar AS. Firstly, Andy Stone, Director of Public Cloud Product Management, and also Matthew Parsons, Solutions Architect, Global Solutions Architecture here at Sunkar AS. And together, both of them will be demonstrating how co-location and cloud can work together to deliver on your business objectives. So without further ado, I will hand over to the first speaker, who is Andy. Thank you, Ollie. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm Director of Public Cloud Product Management at SunGuard. Uh, so I own all of our uh, managed AWS uh, products. Uh, I am working through a head cold today, so apologies if I need to mute. Uh, so I uh, just wanted to kind of dive into it here. So as an IT leader, you have quite a lot on your plate. Uh, everybody wants to preach the benefits of public cloud, um, but using it just isn't that simple. Uh, many of your production mission-critical systems were created and deployed years ago, and occasionally over a decade ago. So what are you supposed to be doing here? Uh, so we think about all of these drivers that occur inside of a current IT environment. And all of these drivers have a direct impact on, side, on your existing environment. That could be uh, an upcoming tech refresh, uh, merger and acquisition activity, mandates from your leadership, or even geopolitical change. All of these drivers need to be considered. Are you going to stay in your current environment or find something else? And if, that's some, if it is something else, what should it be? Public cloud certainly has its upsides, and those upsides are increasingly attractive. So if you can take advantage, and that's, but that's only if you can really just take advantage of those features. You can take advantage of the sheer size of AWS, the incredible level of detail you get from the audit capability, uh, your burst capability that you would get through auto scaling groups. You can even ditch VMs completely and go serverless. But the question a lot of IT leaders find themselves asking is, can you do that for your company right now with your staff's current capabilities? And for most organizations, um, you can't. Uh, so what we do at SunGuard is help those organizations find a measured approach to deploying in both physical and virtual environments. And we can do that providing the physical environment and providing the cloud environment. And so at SunGuard, it's really not an either-or decision, but rather a rationalization of your current deployment and future needs. So where specifically can we help? So when we come in, uh, we start talking about those specific drivers that we were talking about a, a few slides ago and asking pointed questions around how you deploy, what makes the most sense for your, um, for your environment, and uh, how we can help you with that transformation. We really help, those or help your organization define strategic intent, main drivers of transformation, and develop a right hybrid platform strategy. This all feeds into a roadmap that allows us to drive change and map those services uh, into a planning stage. So those NAP services clarify dependencies, confirm targets, uh, provide treatments and business cases, and we listen to you to understand your vision, your challenges, and your desired business outcomes. And then we look at your environment to understand what should go where. In our construct services, we base that right-size solution defined in MAP we design and platform and portfolio and use our portfolio of hybrid IT service offerings and construct those around your business needs. 
we really embraced the MVP concept, so the minim minimum viable concept, and, use, and we defined those use case patterns and best fit architecture uh, to deploy inside of AWS in a well-architected framework. In our move services, we use uh, what we call our Agile Transformation Factory to transport workloads onto a hybrid platform. We manage balance and innovation of control through pr proven, repeated processes. And then we wrap all of that with all of our service integration and management. And then finally, we protect those workloads. So moving all of this to the cloud or into a co-location facility, none of it means anything if you don't have the correct sec security in place. So uh, we wrap that protect service around to help you fulfill your audit requirements and to assess that platform to ensure it meets your customer security, compliance, and governance, governance needs. Now, one of the most critical things inside of uh, a hybrid deployment is actually plumbing those environments together. Uh, to speak more about that, I'd like to welcome uh, Matt Parsons. Thank you, Andy, and hello to everybody out there. A uh, quick background on myself. My name is Matt Parsons. I'm a solutions architect here at SunGuard Availability Services. I've been with the company over 12 years now, working in my past life at the company as a senior network engineer. Uh, so I'm really excited to talk to you about the network connectivity options we have to enable that hybrid connectivity between your colo and cloud environments. What is Hyperscale Connect? Hyperscale Connect is a fully managed service offered by SunGuard AS to connect your SunGuard data center workloads to the hyperscaler clouds. For those of you familiar with the AWS technology, it's essentially your on-ramp to an AWS Direct Connect. Uh, so what's the use case here? Well, our, our Hyperscale Connect can be used in conjunction with any of our managed AWS offerings. So you can connect your colo to AWS for backups to leverage low-cost S3 and, and Glacier storage to cloud recovery designs, leveraging AWS as a disaster recovery environment up to full hybrid environments with production workloads running in both AWS and SunGuard AS Colo. Our Hyperscale Connect service is how you connect your Colo to your cloud. So what are the advantages of an AWS Direct Connect leveraging SunGuard AS's Hyperscale Connect? Well, one, you've got performance. So your workloads are running over private lines versus the internet so there's less latency and jitter for any network-sensitive traffic. Uh, latency, we all know, is, is largely determined by distance, so the further away your data center is from the AWS region, naturally the higher the latency. We're always, always going to be limited by physics there. However, with that said, I do want to point out that we, we have data centers that are very close to certain AWS regions. And in the U.S., our Philadelphia DCs are around 7 milliseconds to U.S. East 1, and over in Europe, our Hunslow data center is within four milliseconds of EUS2. So when you talk about hybrid applications that are not really WAN optimized and very sensitive to latency, you really need to take care on where that on-premise workload is located in reference to your AWS region. Security, again, you're using private lines and not writing the public internet. So there's the added layer of protection from, from prying eyes in the traffic. Um, for the companies out there with really, really strict security departments, we know there's none of those out there, you also have the ability to run an IPsec VPN over the Hyperscale Connect. So not only do you get the dedicated private line to AWS, you can ride an IPsec tunnel wrapped around that as well. Agility and speed to service, we've got all the API controls for provisioning, costs, it can be cheaper than dedicated lease lines especially when talking about a smaller bandwidth requirement. <clears throat> and most of this is, is pretty standard for any direct connect provider, I would say. So really what I want to take time and highlight on is how SunGuard AS's Hyperscale Connect is different than your typical direct connect and, and some of the advantages and value add they can bring to your hybrid cloud environments. So to start, our Hyperscale Connect comes with two physical handoffs. So while it's a single direct connect to AWS, when we ingress that into the SunGuard data center, we bring that into our edge routers to then give you two physical handoffs to provide redundant peering. So 
the advantage there is you, you gain an extra layer of resilience by having the ability to terminate that single direct connect into multiple edge devices in your coal environment. On top of that, we can also couple our hyperscale connect with an IPsec VPN as a backup failover path. So if what, both of your edge WAN devices were to fail, or if the direct connect were to go down for any reason, we can dynamically build a backup IPsec path over the internet so your traffic stays alive and it doesn't die. One of the advantages when you partner with SunGuard for that transformation is, is the hyperscale connect can grow with you. So let's say you want to start off with, you know, just a dip of the toe in the water of AWS with, you know, a very small workload as a proof of concept, which may not warrant the investment of a full-blown, you know, 1 gig or 10 gig dedicated direct connect. We have pre-connected large pipes that we can carve out VLANs and dedicated bandwidth for you so you can get a much smaller direct connect from your Colo data center to SunGuard. 100 megabits on up. In the AWS world, for those who know kind of the technicals of, of Direct Connect, this is what would be known as a hosted connection. As your workloads grow, we can grow that bandwidth with you. And then up to a gig, you'd get a dedicated physical Direct Connect and up to speeds as high as 10 gig. And let's say over time your AWS footprint grows. The, the proof of concept works well. It's starting to get more users. You're getting more applications moved over to the cloud. Or well, Hyperscale Connect can grow with you in the AWS realm as well. So from the single Hyperscale Connect, as you start to leverage additional VPCs and even additional VPCs across multiple regions, our Hyperscale Connect can take advantage and leverage direct connect gateways along with transit gateways to connect your colo premise to multiple VPCs across multiple regions. And the last point I want to hit on is our Hyperscale Connect also allows the ability to swing your direct connect between SunGuard AES data centers. And I think this is a huge, huge advantage we have with this. So when you talk about a hybrid design where you've got production workloads in AWS and a COAL environment, You've got to have resiliency for that, right? There's going to be a disaster recovery environment for your colo. In traditional setups, you would have a completely separate physical space for that colo DR. And if you need a direct connect for that, you would have an always-on direct connect into that second facility that you're essentially paying for all the time but, but never using. Now, in certain use cases, we might recommend doing an IPsec tunnel over the internet for that DR environment to keep costs low. But, you know, if your internet is only 100 meg out of DR and you really need a, a one gig pipe between your colo and AWS, it, sometimes that, that option doesn't always work. So you, you're forced with a second always on direct connect that, again, mostly just sits there that you're paying for. With our hyperscale connect service, you can pay for the single hyperscale connect have it terminate into your production SunGuard data center. At time of disaster, because it is on our network and our backbone as we ingress it, when you fail over to that second SunGuard data center, we can swing that hyperscale connect over with you. So it, it can move with you. And this scales up and out as well. So <clears throat> as you have multiple SunGuard data centers, even running active-active across multiple AWS VPCs across multiple regions, our Hyperscale Connect can connect all of those. And, and this really is the flexibility you need when you start talking about a cloud, cloud migration strategy because over time it's, it's going to span and morph. So multiple data centers, multiple VPCs across multiple regions. And this is where our, I think our, our Hyperscale Connect service really shines when you talk about a hybrid, resilient cloud strategy. So to, to summarize and wrap it up, when you combine SunGuard AS co-location along with our Hyperscale Connect service, you not only get the resilience, but you get a solution which can grow and scale with your business through time as you progress along your cloud journey. From colo to hybrid to cloud, spanning multiple data centers across multiple VPCs and regions, SunGuard availability services has the people, 
the processes, expertise, and the technical flexibility leveraging our Hyperscale Connect to partner with you to help you achieve that cloud for transformation. So to pause and, and change gears here a bit, <clears throat> not only do we offer the technical flexibility to support hybrid workloads to enable that cloud transformation, we also offer commercial flexibility to help you, help you get there as well. So with that, I'll hand it back off to Andy to talk about how the commercial viability of a cloud transformation looks when partnering with SunGuard AS. Andy, say, take it away. Thanks, Matt. Uh, so as we mentioned, uh, not only can we provision this technically, uh, which can be a challenge for many organizations, but uh, providing you, but we can also provide you with the financial capability of, of making this happen. Uh, we do this through what we call fluid revenue reallocation, uh, which is really an option inside of uh, our co-location, Hyperscale Connect, hosted private cloud, Hosted and our hosted public cloud solutions that allow the customer to uh, first come to us uh, with, let's just say, their co-location needs. Once uh, they've identified that specific co-location need, uh, further down the line, uh, if they have a need to move into a hosted private cloud environment, uh, we have an option to uh, gradually shift that spend into hosted private cloud or even into our host, hosted public cloud solution with AWS. Uh, so we can maintain your monthly uh, costs, whether that's within co-location, our private cloud, or our public cloud, uh, regardless of what your specific needs are at the time. So when you think about a customer agreement with, with SunGuard, a lot of times that's over three years. Uh, with many other providers, it can be four years or five years. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen in year two or year three, uh, and we want to make sure that that um, remains flexible with you, the customer, uh, so that you can take advantage of the technical needs that you have inside of your environment. What we generally see happen over that three-year period is our customers start in colo, and then as they identify new projects, new targets, uh, we can assist them in moving into our private cloud and public cloud solutions. Now, one customer that we've been that we've worked with specifically uh, was a long-term colo customer of ours. Uh, they've actually been a colo customer of ours for over a decade now. Uh, but they had signed a new customer that required a more scalable solution, uh, specifically for Black Friday. Uh, they had actually gone out and deployed a small proof of concept inside of AWS, uh, thought that it worked fairly well, uh, but quickly realized that they didn't have the staff to really support that AWS deployment, uh, even though it was up and running. Uh, so we were able to step in and provide them with some architecture guidance around how to deploy inside of AWS, uh, took some of their concepts, uh, wrap some additional security and resilience around it, and we're able to uh, really quickly deploy and provide this environment for uh, Black Friday. Uh, this customer came to us on Halloween, by the way. Uh, so we were able, over the next uh, three or four weeks, we were able to deploy, uh, provide scalability tests, provide load tests inside that environment, and prove to the customer that you know, AWS definitely was the was the correct spot for them, and all of this was connected back to their uh, Colo facility, uh, so that they could maintain uh, some of their legacy systems inside of their Colo facility, while their web front end was maintained inside of AWS. Uh, so, the customer has now really shifted this around, and they are calling this their new capability, and we've become their infrastructure deployment of choice. Uh, so now instead of, you know, calling the sales rep and purchasing a new rack of Colo environment, uh, they now submit a ticket and we deploy uh, new services for them inside of AWS. So we've, we've removed that contracting barrier for them to grow and made it much more simple and scalable uh, for them to uh, really provide a lot of value to their end customers. So how can we really support you through your journey? Uh, step one is to create a clear vision 
and understand what you will gain by migrating different workloads. Does your return on investment make sense? Then as part of our cloud migration strategy, uh, we help you identify which workloads are best suited for which environment. We'll identify and map those workloads and uncover what you have to prioritize and what needs to be transformed. We'll really start small, learn, and grow. And if for some reason you've done all of this on your own and you don't think you have the right skills in-house, and it's even more critical to find the right partner, uh, your migration plan will need to be executed with proven processes, policies, and we need to include that validation of workload compatibility, dependencies, rollback plans, and all of the performance testing to ensure a really effective integration of your deployment. We offer a wide range of cloud solutions. Um, I'm specifically focused on AWS, but uh, we have uh, our private cloud solutions that are hosted within our data center. Uh, Hyperscale Connect to uh, really stick all of those deployments together. Uh, and we really found that, you know, between all of these products, we're offering a really um, unique solution to our customers, uh, whether that be colo or private or public. Uh, so with more than 40 years of innovating in the field of building a resilient enterprise, uh, we can help you leverage cloud services to create this highly resilient and responsive environment that you need. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, we'd actually like to open it up for a Q&A now. Thanks very much, Andy, and thank you very much, Matt, as well, for that fall through co-location and cloud spanning, hyperscale connect, AWS, commercial flexibility, and more. I should probably point out that this presentation will be downloadable, so there should be a link at the end. So please go ahead and download it, share it with your, with your colleagues as well. And as Andy mentioned, we're opening up the Q&A. I believe there's a Q&A field on your screens where you guys can enter in questions. So. If you do have any questions, please enter them in now and we'll pass them to our presenters. And just while we're doing that, I'm going to open up the field and see what's coming through. Nolly actually had one more, one, one more point to make uh, that uh, if you don't know where to start, um, please let us know. Uh, we offer a really lightweight, uh, what we call it, cloud readiness assessment to help you analyze what's going on inside your environment. Mentioned really lightweight, really quick. Uh, we can get in there and, and help you start moving. Because a lot of times, just the ability to start moving is, is huge. Fantastic. Thank you, Andy. And I think we've got our first questions coming through. So the, the first question we've, we've got is, which of your data centers are Hyperscale Connect enabled? So I'll, I'll leave that to you guys to, to take up. Yep, this is Matt. I can take that. Um, so essentially, all of our data centers are, are Hyperscale Connect enabled. Um, leveraging our SunGuard AS uh, MPLS backbone, we can extend any on-ramp facility direct connect to any, any of our locations. Um, that said, you know, there are certain locations that, that are on ramps directly to our providers. So those would be um, in the U.S., out in Colorado, uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Arizona. Uh, we've got one up in Canada, in Mississauga. And then over in Europe, we've got on ramps, direct on ramps uh, to London and Hunslow and over in Dublin. So anything in those facilities is going to be directly connected to that on ramp to AWS. Um, anything outside of those data centers, we can still extend that direct connect via our, our Hyperscale Connect to any data center. And when it traverses our data center, we, we actually have a 99.99% SLA availability on that connectivity between our data centers. So it's definitely something that can scale and grow as you move across any, any SunGuard data center. That's, that's great. Thank you, Matt, for that comprehensive 
answer and I hope to the questioner that that, that covers the, the question as well. Thankfully, I think we've, we've got another question coming in as well. So the question is, can you expand a bit more on the benefit of the revenue reallocation process, process that you referred to on an earlier slide? Can any of you guys take that one? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to take that one. So, um, you know, that revenue reallocation process, uh, like I mentioned, is really a three or four year deal uh, where we commit to um, keeping the spend level within uh, within your colo facility, within HPC, or within AWS uh, level. Uh, so, say you started with a $100,000 uh, co-location contract, uh, if you start migrating workloads into AWS, uh, we can slowly turn down that co-location facility, um, you know, start removing uh, some of the space and power associated with that contract, and instead shift that spend directly into AWS, uh, where we're providing managed services for you. Uh, I hope that answered. Uh, let me know if it did. Okay, Andy. No, I think no, I think that's covered it. Thanks very much for that for that answer. I think that that covered it well. I'm just keeping one eye on the questions. That's the last last call out for questions. I'm not seeing any more coming through, but I'll give a little, a little opportunity to to ask um, ask a last question to our speakers today. Okay, I'm, I'm not seeing any more questions coming through, so I think I'll take the opportunity to wrap up on that point and thank our speakers today, uh, Andy and Matt, for a fantastic presentation running through the Trello and Cloud Happy Together storyline. And I'd like also to thank our sponsors, that's Vanguard AS and AWS. And moreover, I'd like to thank our audience for dialing in today. So we all know that you've got a busy day today. So thank you for taking the time to, to join our presentation. As I mentioned, the slides will be available for you guys as well. There'll be a link to so please do like, share, distribute to, to your colleagues as well. That would be great. So again, thanks very much. And I think I'll wrap up there. Thank you. Bye-bye.